Oh, friends, denizens of the internet, hello, welcome back to another exciting episode over here at Lost Time Gaming. Sorry for that, but I, I just, I clapped my hands to help me sync up the audio at the beginning of recording, and I forgot I have a huge cut on my right index finger, and I just slapped it really hard. Oh, all right. Anyway, so I wanted to do something special for this Monday and Tuesday while I get Resident Evil Zero back up to uh, back up to where it needs to be on easy mode because I'm terrible. Um, but I didn't really have the time to do something special for Monday today. So what I want to do is I figured this uh, this didn't launch when the game launched, but this is something uh, new. Hold on one second. This is something that came out like a week or so after release, but they did release the Mercenaries for Resident Evil 4. And it's it's not like the Resident Evil Village or uh, Resident Evil 7 stuff. It is old school Resident Evil Mercenaries. Now, we have all three things uh, kind of unlocked here. And what's weird is like this, I remember, I don't remember this being in Mercenaries. But I do remember the island, but this is a weird section of the island. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to play. Mm, we could play Krauser, but Krauser's not really fun to watch. So what we're going to do is we're going to play Hunk, our main man Hunk. If you don't know who Hunk is, he's a uh, umbrella anti biohazard guy from uh, a secret character from Resident Evil 2 originally. He, there's not much to Resident Evil 4 Mercenaries mode other than shoot the crap out of everyone ever. It's pretty straightforward. You shoot people and then you continue to shoot people. And the goal is, of course, to build a combo and get big crazy points all of the time. And to just make sure to keep the combo going. You see there's nobody here right now. The combo almost running out. Ooh, that was that was closer than I thought it was gonna be. Let's uh let's go this way. Now the cool thing about this that wasn't in uh the original Resident Evil 4 mercenaries mode is that not only do you you have your standard loadout which Hunk has, which is just the MP5 with just a crap load of bullets, and I think he's got a flash grenade. But as you can see down below, he also has a white bar with what appears to be an infinite ammo sign next to it. Hey, where are you, where are you, where are you guys going? You see that? I tried to try to round them all up near this explosive barrel, and they all ran away like cowards. Let's cheat. You made me lose my combo. I don't appreciate any of that. I was just about to use my ultimate technique, and then you decided that everybody was going to go play bingo. It was the intro all over again. Oh, oh, hit it with the... Ooh, there you go, huh? Good times. Now, one of the things I did enjoy about this is that Hunk has one of his moves that he had in the original Resident Evil 4 Mercenaries mode, which, let's see if I can, I can pull it off here. No, 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 I cannot. Oh, no, we can stab him in the throat. Good times. But let's do this. Just rip it and rip it. Oh, I thought there was more people over there. I guess not. Oh, hi, animated Plagas guy. Hello, moose guy with a giant hammer. How are you? Now there's ammo just, just everywhere. I can, I can hear him swinging that hammer. It doesn't sound good, I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, I was gonna say, he's gonna take that whole magazine, isn't he? So as I said, I didn't have time to do what I wanted today, but I figured this, this is fun, and you in, in all likelihood, we're not gonna see an episode about the mercenaries mode just because this is one of those things that I like people to experience for themselves. But I figured, hey, I had an open slot. Why not? Okay, there's no time thing there. I thought there was one. I must be mistaken. Yeah, what's up now? Oh, somebody's throwing dynamite. That's bad. Hunk, hunk. There you go. Okay. That guy's throwing Molotovs. Ah, that guy stabbed me with a pitchfork. That's it. Everybody dies. 
Oh, that's bad. Hunk, you're gonna get murked. Get out of there. So as mentioned, you want you want the big old score. You want the high combo with the high points. You got the high score. Now, this made more sense in the original mercenaries because you needed the high score to unlock characters like Krauser and Hunk, but the weird thing is, is like because I already have these guys unlocked, I'm not really sure what the point of that would be. Now the, uh... Oh, there it is! That's my favorite move ever. I'm not sure if there's more characters to unlock outside of Punk and Krauser, because you just kind of start off with Leon, of course. Oh, that guy's got a chainsaw. That's bad. You know what? This guy's gonna get a little bit of the mayhem mode. Ooh, there it is. Yep, yeah, that's what's up. That's the spice. None of that. Everybody coming back to life. Just stop it. Stop throwing dynamite. Who's doing that? Put that down. Did nobody tell you dynamite is extremely dangerous? It's like, do you know how many certifications you have to have to handle dynamite? It's a lot. Stop. I hear it. I hear it. Yeah, you, you over there. Come here. Dynamite is dangerous, and you shouldn't be playing with it. No, I let the combo go down. That's a bummer. Because it used to be back in the day, if you wanted the high score, you basically had to maximize your combos. Getting as many people as you could before the combo reset. And uh, the main thing with Hunk is that because he has just one gun, he can just kind of just spray and pray all day. Now he can't, uh, can't really do that with Leon. Leon basically has the shotgun, the pistol, and I think the bolt-action rifle. So he's not really bad off. Okay, that's bad. You know, excuse me, I need to, I need to come out here. Yep, just let me through. Thank you. And then I'm going to kill the old turn and throw a grenade. And there you go. You guys can have that. I'll be right back. Time's up. Oh, time's up. Dang. Uh, there is an ending that you can kill everyone and the game will end. Uh, clearly, I did not get there, unfortunately. But that's mercenaries mode. It's uh, it's pretty cool. You know what? That was that was pretty short. Let's do one more. Let's do the the castle with Krauser. Now we haven't seen the castle in the playthrough yet, so this is a bit of a spoiler. If you don't want to see this, feel free to stop the video here. <laughs> but if you remember anything about the Resident Evil 4 Mercenaries mode in the original game, remember Krauser is just an absolute beast. Now he still is a beast. But the thing with Krauser in this is that you're basically just supposed to play him as if the only weapon he had was the knife. Now, you saw clearly he has the TMP there, but Krauser is just an absolute madman when it comes to the knife. Also, uh, we haven't seen Krauser in the main storyline yet either. Just, just ignore all of that. Just ignore it and just enjoy Krauser just cutting people to shreds. Ooh, chop that wood! I've actually, uh, I managed to beat the stage on the village with Krauser, and there were times where there was just so many people looking to destroy me, and all I had to do was just walk forward with Krauser swinging his knife around, and it was enough to just kill everyone. <laughs> But the goal here, at least what I'm trying to get done, is uh, I want to get up a nice group of people so I can use Krauser's Mayhem. Mode. This looks good. Boom! Let's do a little bit of this. God. Oh, you, you want more? Come on. Give me a little bit of that. Yeah, that's the spice. Here. Yep. Yep. 
And ah! all right, that's enough of that. Let's just go back to knifing people. Yep, ah, that's the stuff. Yep, just walk into my knife of pain. Just infinite pain coming from this direction. Yep, stand right in the way of it. I dare you. <laughs> just chop that wood, Krauser. Chop it. All right. It's always a good time. Oh, what? You're gonna hold me from behind? Not Krauser. Krauser, take it to you. Stab you in the brain. See how you like that. Well, let's get out of here. That's probably not good. I don't know what that is. Oh, hey. I, we're going this way, apparently. I tried to go up the ladder, but instead we got knocked off, apparently. Where are you going? Huh? Huh? Come here. You load this slope. Yeah. That's what I thought. Now, the excuse me, I'm trying to leave, please. Yeah. Oh, where are you guys going? You want to mess with Krauser? That's that's a mistake. One you will not live to regret. Woo! Yes. Oh, you want fire? That's a shame. Anybody else want a piece? You? No? Okay, I just give you the knife then. It's fine. Knife, knife is good too. Knife is not best friend. Oh yeah, I forgot. Krauser's got his old trusty friend, the bow. And all of Krauser's arrows, well, they're tipped with explosives. <laughs> I should probably heal myself before I die slow, hor horrible death. Nope, nope, we need, there we go. Hey, hey, I see you over there. Stop it. You all just excuse me for a moment. I have to, uh... I have to take care of this guy here. Okay. Yeah, pardon me. Let me just cut right through here. Yeah, <laughs> no pun intended. Krauser is just an absolute madman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Re reload that at your leisure, Krauser. It's fine. There's just no rush here, man. It's funny, Krauser is the TMB, but it's like low level, uh, no upgrades. It's just really awful. Oh, man, you got one of them big ones, huh? Well, check out my big thing. How about that? Yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Woo! Mine's better. I told you. Who else wants a piece? Tussle with the muscle. Now I've noticed there are people launching explosives at us. So we should probably do something about that. Oh, hi. I didn't know you were there. Maybe I should... Oh, there we go. That's probably for the best. Oh, you shoot me with flaming arrows. That's cheap. It's not like shooting explosive bolts off of a recurve bow cheating, but it's pretty close. Let me just cut through here. There we go. <laughs> just literally cut through here. You know what? And we'll get the time off over here. Why not? Crossbow, huh? Really shouldn't have gotten my stabbing range. Oh yeah, the, the explosives people are shooting at us. I uh, forgot about that. Oh, you you want some of this? You want some of Krauser? You are mistaken, buddy. Yeah, real mistaken. Like that mistaken. Hey, come on, step right up. Step right up. Yep, nice. Yeah, wooden tower shield, not gonna do much against fleshy blade arms, unfortunately for you. 
I hear uh, something terrible. What? What is that? Ow. Okay, it's that. Okay, very, very good. Yeah, I need another one for him. There we go. Oh, hey. Uh, wow, there's a lot of you, isn't there? Yep, that'll teach you, and how about we teach you a little lesson as well? There we go, okay. Hey, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? I see you running away from me. That's cheating. How about this? Will this work? This will work. Ow! You know, one of my biggest regrets in life is ignoring the giant explosive balls being launched at me. <laughs> uh, just kind of playing that loose and fast. Nothing serious there. Either way, still got an A rank. Not too bad. So that being said, that um, nah, we don't need to we don't need to post our death to the leaderboards. So that being said, that is all the time I have for this little uh, little kind of side episode of Resident Evil 4 today. So that being said, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, if I have enough time tomorrow, I would like to do a little something special that is not Resident Evil 4 related. Uh, either way, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video today, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about the gameplay, commentary, or anything else in general. That being said, thanks for watching, and as usual, I'll catch you all on the flip side.